to remove noise from your dark footage and don't know where to start? Well, my name's Dan, you're watching Dan Vinci, and I know a simple and quick way that you can do so. Let's do this. then with that all out of the way let's jump into DaVinci Resolve. Okay then so I have a really really dark shot of me getting into my car here. As you can see it's extremely dark. If we blow this up you can see here there is an awful lot of dark noise everywhere. So the first step what you need to do is go down into your color tab. In the top right corner you will see your node tree area. Now in the top right here I've already created two corrector nodes one being a LUT and one being a mild color change just for the sake of this video to make this shot look nice. If you're on your color tab and the node tree isn't showing, that's fine. Go up to the top right corner, click on nodes, and the node tree will show up here. To create the best possible noise reduction, we want to put our node at the beginning of our node tree, as every other change that we make to the color grade needs to also have that noise reduction applied to it, really, to create the best possible image. Or at least that's how I do it. I mean, you can put it at the end, but up to you. I'm not going to force you. I'm not a man of physical violence. So to create a corrector node in front of our first node, click Shift S, and this will basically create a corrector node at the beginning. You can also do Alt S, but that'll create a corrector node right of the node that you've selected, basically. Okay, so we have our corrector node. Let's navigate down to these tab controls here, and we're gonna click on this one here. This one is your motion effects. And as you can see, we've got three different tools here. Now we're only gonna be using these two here. This one is motion blur, really useful for time lapses. Video coming soon, you better subscribe there. This first section here, the temporal noise reduction, this removes general noise. The second section here, the spectral noise reduction, removes noise that's coloured. Let's say it's slightly blue. If you zoom in on the dark noise that you have, you'll, you'll notice very faint colours, such as like a bit of blue, maybe a tiny bit of tinted green. Basically this tab here, the spectral noise reduction, helps to remove those specific colours, making it overall seem less noisy. So the temporal noise reduction, if we click down on frames here, we can click on fire. Now, the higher the frames that you select for the computer to process, the more demanding this will have on your GPU. Now, this is fine if you have a 4090 or anything quite powerful and good for gaming. But if you're running this on, let's say, a laptop that doesn't have a dedicated GPU, you're going to have to render in place this shot in order to actually play this back in real time. Obviously, you can reduce the frames down to one and it will run a lot better. But then, obviously, it's processing less. So the noise reduction isn't as accurate. Ugh, ugh, I'm dying. Moving down, we have faster. Now, faster obviously is better for laptops, but in this case, we want to go for better because there is a significant difference between faster and better. If this is a mild noise reduction change, maybe faster is better for your use case. Motion range is very simple to understand. Is your shot moving? In my case, it's on a tripod, so I can click small. And then to basically adjust the noise reduction, all you need to do is go over to the tempor temporal threshold. I'm struggling to say these words. And drag them along like this. If we zoom in, obviously, we can see the difference. So if we do control D, we can turn on and off this noise reduction and there's already a significant reduction in noise. Obviously, do not go too extreme with this and drag this all the way up to the top because, well, you might end up having an image like this. <laughs> In my use case, because the shot is so dark and you can't really see much, you can only see the silhouette of a car, having it quite high actually kind of works. But as you can see, it's already reducing quite a lot of the noise in the reds up here. But obviously, if we zoom in here, you can still see some noise that's quite prominent. There are different shades of red and black, but that's where our spectral no that <laughs> there. But that's where our spectral no noise reduction comes into play. Got there in the end. Now I've seen a lot of people say faster is better than better, but I'm going to leave that to you to decide. In my case, I'm going to put it on better or enhanced to be. I've, oh, I even forgot there even was an enhanced. Wait, is that new? That can't be new. That wasn't on 17, was it? I can't remember. Pick the setting that you feel looks best. Zoom right into your dark noisy footage and pick which one you think is best because what you think is best is best. Yeah, quote from Dan. Dan Vinci, 2023. <laughs> So I'm going to go on medium here. So once again, we're going to, in this case, we're going to drag our controls up here, dragging the lumen and the chroma. And as you can see, there's already been a dramatic reduction in the red noise from the brake lights. Now that looks pretty good. So control D, look at that. Night and day, people, night and day. Just look, look at the cardboard here. That is insane. Now, obviously you can boost this all the way up to the top, but your footage will end up looking a little bit waxy. Now there is a way that we can make our image look slightly sharper. Obviously, if you've boosted your footage all the way to the top with the noise reduction, your footage is going to look like this. <laughs> 
If you're sensible with your noise reduction and create a new node, head over to the center of your color tab and click on this icon here. This icon is your blur and sharpen icon. And what we want to do is go over to the radius here and we want to reduce it down, let's say to 4.7. There we go. And as you can see, before and after, it has actually sharpened the image. Obviously, if you go too extreme, it's going to look a bit bizarre. You don't want to push it too far. So once again, I'll leave that down to you guys. But I usually, my personal preference is not really going below 4.6, 4.7. And that shot already looks brilliant. I shot this on a micro four thirds camera and this noise reduction changed the game when I discovered it. But that's about it. That's been a very quick tutorial on the DaVinci channel. I've done longer videos if you want to go and have a look at them. But I hope you've enjoyed this video. I'm already at 2000 subscribers. Every time I say thank you for how many subscribers I've got, I've already hit another milestone. How? My name's Dan and you've watched DaVinci. See you later guys. Bye.